It's time for another quick tech. I've just installed the three-way version of my favourite Strat mod into this beautiful John Mayer Fender Stratocaster. Uh, it's a three-way rotary switch that gives you a couple of series sounds when you've got three single coils like this. Um, originally I put this white chicken head knob on because uh, I already had it, it was in my junk box, but it's a little bit light. The other plastics here are they're kind of uh, more of a yellowed vintage sort of look the knobs and covers and switch tips so it's a little bit white it's it's kind of stark white almost gray white and it doesn't really match so I went ahead and ordered uh, an ivory one or is listed as ivory from the same supplier and it's just arrived and well it's a really it's almost like a like a milky coffee colored color so uh, it's just it's too dark I just I think it looks rubbish so I'm not going to use that instead what I'm going to do I'm going to try and color my white one to match the very slight yellow look of these others. You can often just dye plastics, especially ABS plastic, which this is almost certainly ABS. Uh, if you use alcohol-based dyes or spirit dyes, uh, in Australia you can use this stuff, which is proof tint. You buy this, buy this at Bunnings. But I don't have the yellow one. The yellow one in the proof tint range, if you are in Australia, is called Golden Teak. And typically you could mix that up with some metho, maybe half and half, just to thin it right out. These are quite strong colorants. Um, and just apply that with, a, with a, a cotton bud or something like that. And that will probably get you pretty close, but I don't have any of that on hand. The maple one is, I think, refers to Queensland maple, which is like a peach colored timber. And this is uh, quite orange, this stain, so it's not gonna help me out. Um, so what I'm gonna do, I'm actually gonna try something I've never done before. Uh, the only sort of yellow stuff I have on hand is some pre-mixed French polish. Um, and you can see some dried, you can see it's dried off on the lid there, and it actually is quite yellow. So I'm going to thin some of this out uh, and maybe shoot it with an airbrush or something like that and see if I can match this colour. This has quite a shiny surface so I think the first thing I'll do is just dull it up a bit with some 4 steel wool. Just take the shine off, help the shellac stick. Actually I've just had a thought. I've got this plastic primer pen left over from some all plastic super glue, so I'm actually going to draw this on it. That might uh, help to prime the plastic as well. Just found a little off cut of quarter inch doweling. Perfect. So I'm just using my testers airbrush for this. I'm not sure if you can still buy these. They're a very basic system. They just kind of blow a string of air across this tiny little nozzle and you can adjust the height of that nozzle and that controls how much sort of uh, comes out. This is really good for these sort of projects. A, because there's virtually no cleanup or very little cleanup for this, unlike an airbrush where you've got to pull it all apart. Um, and I really don't need that accuracy. In fact, I'm better off with just a really fine mist. Um, I've got about one part shellac to two parts metho in here. Honestly, this will actually still blow straight shellac, uh, but I'm thinning it just to reduce the color of the shellac. So I'm gonna try it out. So what was that, four or five passes? I think you can possibly see there's a, just a slight yellow mark there on the white paper. So I reckon that's about ideal. Yeah, I think it's very close. I reckon it needs just a tiny bit more shellac. That's basically dried instantly because it's so thinned uh, with metho. I'm just gonna touch that once again. Yeah, look, I think, that's, I think that's a nice match. I'm gonna let that sit for a few hours. I've got some other stuff to do, and then I'll probably hit, hit it with some uh, clear coat, probably semi-gloss clear. I think a full gloss clear would look a little bit silly, and I think that'll be done. So 
So I gave the knob two coats of semi-gloss clear just to seal that shellac and give it a harder wearing surface. And yeah, I'm pretty happy with it. It's a, it's a pretty close match. It's not perfect, but uh, it's a heck of a lot closer than just pure stark white. And compared to this ivory one I bought, well, it's kind of no contest really. It really only took oh, maybe five to 10 minutes of my time Obviously, I'm not counting the time it took to dry, but you can always do other things in that time when you're in the workshop, of course. And it's a technique I'm sure I'll use again. I've actually got a small collection of kind of quirky vintage instruments in all different uh, states of assembly and, and everything, They're a bunch of project guitars. So I'm sure I'll get a chance to, to try that again. For now, I better get this back on the guitar. This guitar is a very nice, pretty high-end uh, Fender Strat. It's a John Mayer signature model from 06 or 07 I think it was and I've actually filmed uh, not just the mod but the full service and setup on this one and I'm turning it into a video I've already started editing it it will be quite long and fairly detailed but I've actually had a few requests to do some videos like that with a full service and setup so keep an eye out for that but for now I'm going to say uh, I hope you enjoyed this video if you did please like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next one